Hello gorgeous, my name is Dusty and this is the Scorpio Priestess. If you like my vibe, I would appreciate your likes and subscribes. Anybody who already has, thank you. If you would like a personal reading, you can do that by visiting ScorpioPriestess.com. It is in the description of this video as well as the link in the bio. I have many different options. I am adding one more option and which it is my creation and it is tarot p it is a tarot card reading with um a little bit of coaching it is what does the divine um what do you need to know or what is going on in your situation and what are the steps you can take to live your best life or work your way through it or whatever you need to work on whatever concerns you have money love or otherwise how can we release some of those blockages it is a message that i received in a download uh, most of my tarot readings are more than just a tarot reading they are typically uh, half that half coaching so i will be um rolling out the red carpet for my little creation tarot p and i will be posting the information about that <clears throat> here in the next coming days i do have the july's winners of the giveaways starting out with the 125 dollar giveaway carrie ma morrison 9518 Please visit my website and message me there. Do not send me an email to my other email. Please visit ScorpioPriestess.com and hit the contact me with your payment information. PayPal or Cash App is necessary. The winner of the free half hour reading at Searching for Answers. Um, please do the same. Visit ScorpioPriestess.com and let me know that you're there and we will get you set up with your half hour FaceTime reading um, over the course of the next few days. With that being said, if you would like to enter to win a hundred and twenty-five zealous, you can do that by liking, subscribing, and we're going back to the old but oldie but goodie blessings in the comment section down below. If you would like to enter the win, a free half hour FaceTime reading, just comment, reading, and like, and subscribe. With that being said, you do have some beautiful Scorpio family members that have got your back. If you did not win this month's giveaway, keep going. Next month could be your month. And please know that I am working on raising this donation to a sizable amount. So every few months, I'm going to raise it as we raised it to $125 this month. Next month, we will raise it again. And, and we will see every two to three months, I do plan on raising it. But there has been some beautiful Scorpio family members here that has donated money towards this. So let's give them a shout out. Thank you, you all, for your generosity and kindness. Remember, what we put out there is what we get back. So you all have some very beautiful um, blessings coming in for you. So let's hop right into this. We are seeing what does spirit want you to know. And um, you pulled angel number 66. Your guardian angel is teaching you the essence of unconditional love. You are encouraged to have faith that the universe will provide for you while you are manifesting your inner desires. I am positive. Remember, it is not happening to you. It is happening for you. Just that little bit of perception change can change it all. Whatever it is that's going on here in your life, your guardian angel is standing beside you, walking beside you. We all have hard times. Um, we're all faced with things sometimes that we never felt like we could possibly ever manage our way through but coming out the other end of it you will be stronger you will be better you will be um you know rebirthed <laughs> whatever you would like to say and so transformed i don't know why that word wasn't coming to me you will be transformed if you allow it to you can also allow it to beat you down and make you weak but that's not what we're going to do over her so what if it isn't true scorpio the thing you are telling yourself right now, the concrete reasons why you don't think you belong, you can't do it, you won't get there, you're not enough, it's not for you. What if it isn't true? Today's soul action, it's time for a soul chat. Close your eyes, put your hands on your heart, and ask the wise one within, what if it isn't true? 
what else might be possible for some of you Scorpio and I see it a lot in the comment section you feel I can't move on there's no moving on I can't move on I'll never move on I'm never gonna find another lover that is limiting beliefs you can always move on no matter what the situation is you if when you want to move forward you can do it is it hard is it painful sure it really is but it's certainly not um, healthy to allow yourself to sit in a bad relationship or sit and wait for somebody while the world is out here passing you by um, at no time is that a healthy good place to be so that is just one example for some of you you're thinking um, you can't do this or you can't do that there's always where there's a will there is a way and so maybe today ask yourself what am I saying that I can't do that I actually know my higher self knows I'm just lying to myself I can do it I would be able to do it but it would take sacrifice or hard work right I feel like for some of you it's important to know that um, moving forward um, is not easy it takes willpower it takes determination but unconditional loving yourself is where you need to be beautiful a lot of you are reinventing yourself see a transformation is taking place enjoy your new lease on life most of you here are going through a bit of a transformation where you are actually coming out the other end of saying I can't do this or I can't do that you're starting to realize you can do it I absolutely love it here it's my favorite card in the deck a stranger is about to change your life exciting times of plenty or of action plus a special family reunion <clears throat> looks likely here opportunities coming in for you Scorpio somebody is about to change your life change the course of your life right society say yes to all the wonderful invitations coming your way excellent networking opportunities and a new love interest for singles will be a result for some of you you may meet a new love interest um right around the corner here that's going to really change your life now this reading is about your energy we are going to see what spirit wants you to know in love but i am channeling your energy scorpio sometimes we get so caught up in everything and everybody else that we forget about ourselves so i have been trying to add more readings about you and your life and what spirit wants you to know number one baby the sun you're at a brand new journey for a lot of you here you are basking in the sun of some kind of achievement scorp or you are about to be new beginnings and great creativity the sun brings blessings to earth this card pour 10 portends blessings in your own life as well just as the sun nurtures the earth bringing new life into spring and summer this is your time for a new beginning the onset of nurturing new light in your life the light of the divine inspiration and personal growth this card often marks a time of great creativity bringing the cultivation of a important new project such as a birth of a baby or writing a publication or even the birth of a new you do you see this whose ever energy i am channeling congratulations you are going you are on the opposite end of a rebirth and you are about to emerge here stronger and better than ever before now <clears throat> is time to put your energy into expressing your truth in vision visualize the light of the divine love pouring into your heart and mind like rays of the sun bringing inspiration growth abundant blessings see the future you want to create and know that the sun is shining on you now scorpio the sun is shining down on you guys you are reinventing yourself you are letting go of limiting beliefs and your guardian angels are helping you um, manifest the life of your dreams because you're staying positive now if that's not where you are that is where you should be working on being tell me about the sun energy spirit what is this beautiful i feel for a lot of you you're about to get a new invitation you're about to get an invitation <clears throat> for a new job look at this i knew it new exciting page of cups wow ace of wands look at this energy y'all 
beautiful. For some of you, you have a brand new love interest around the way. For others, this is not love. You are not focused on love right now. This is new opportunities in your life to expand your business, expand your career, expand yourself in personal growth. A lot of you here, you have a very beautiful, motivating new beginning. Four of Wands, my goodness, boy, this couldn't get better. You are about to have celebration here in the four of wands scorpio because you are coming out as the high priestess for a lot of you you are raising your vibration you are listening to your intuition your third eye is opening and all of this is taking place because at one point you are quite wounded by something or somebody you have withstood adversity and because of that the divine is coming in here and giving you some kind of new beginning or new opportunity or new vitality to want to become a new you to want to reinvent you right i feel like if i was you and i'm doing the same in the month of august i am focusing on me and me only i will not um, focus on anything else other than my projects and the things that I want to do for myself. I'm on a mission to do something for myself every day, um, whether it's extend my workout or do something small. You all should get in with me. For the month of August, I am going to work on becoming my very best self and stop putting off projects that I've been wanting to do for a long time. So I hope a lot of you are in the same vibration. We are in Leo energy tonight is a full moon and um it is a auspicious time to manifest the life of your desires as well as let go and release some of this old stuck energy so spirit tell me what does scorpio need to know please up in the air not knowing where you stand for a lot of you you don't know where you stand with something or somebody you're uncertain about uh where you're going you're uncertain about uh you know what's happening next for some of you it could be you're in a place in your life where you're bracing yourself for the next bad uh, event and that is actually manifesting more bad events so if you're if everything is up in the air right now brace yourself for the next blessing get into it and get excited about what blessings could be coming into your life because just as much as something bad could be coming something good could be coming right so just change that perception just a little bit i feel like you just don't know how there's a decision that needs to be made and you may not have all the information to make it but you have an inner knowing you are stepping into your spiritual power as i said in the high priestess here um very very beautiful scorpio your intuition is on fire right now for some of you you are feeling more intuitive than ever you're actually starting to feel your spiritual power but again a powerful inner transformation leave leave old flames embrace the new release of energy and emotions and playing with fire for some of you there is a lover out here that it is legitly like playing with fire you might as well walk yourself right back into a fire if you get back involved with them and you're becoming aware of that for a lot of you you're going through a very powerful time of transformation here and you are you are coming out the other side of it where you're burning the past away and you're burning past feelings and thoughts and things that no longer serve you you away it is so beautiful i'm so proud of you all i really am i'm love look at this cleaning up your life sweeping away negativity clearing up your life decolor cluttering your mind and simplifying with taking it one step at a time don't rush the journey spirit saying the start of something bigger is coming but take it step by step take it day by day y'all um you you didn't get where you are overnight um and uh, even good or bad right it takes a while to change it takes a while to change your perception and your mindset so if you're still struggling with some negativity or you're still struggling with some things that's okay they're all just learning lessons you're 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 moving forward a female friend could enter your life a new friend or for some of you that date feminine energy you could meet a new feminine energy there's definitely some things unfinished in your life that need to be wrapped up um whether that is an old job an old friend that you had a falling out with an old lover there are some things that need wrapped up in your life scorp and, and spirit wants you to know that tell me what does scorpio need to know in their love life spirit what do they need to know in love, please? Love underneath it all. Emotional, 
break through, revealing what's been hidden. Memorable kiss, wants to kiss and sharing intimate moments. For some of you here, you are in a situation where it may seem like there's not a lot of love. You all fight all the time. You've said really mean things to one another. You perhaps have had very, very hardcore arguments, but there is love underneath it all. For others, you're about to meet somebody because you're having emotional breakthroughs that it's time to move forward and you're going to have a very memorable kiss. Spirit wants you to know here that um, you're ascending to higher levels. Absolutely, you're ready to um, start dating somebody that's, um, you know, at a higher level spiritually, at a higher level here on planet Earth, um, right in the 3D. Tunnel vision, though, closed mindedness, need to keep an open mind. Spirit saying you're discontent, you're bored, but you're losing opportunities because you're fixated on one person. And what you need to know, Scorpio, is in the at the end of the day, you should be trying to manifest who's best for you and your higher self, um, and not get so fixated on being in love with what could be or what if with another person. If you're not a, like, if you're not thinking in terms of what's the reality of your present moment with this lover if you're in love with what used to be or what could be you may want to check yourself I feel that a lot of you are about to meet somebody new and it, or have just met somebody new that's really great this is going to be true love I knew it there is a true love match coming for you. It is a love that you are not going to be able to deny it is going to allow you to get out of this tunnel vision for a lot of you, you're dealing with a counterpart. You are already dealing with a counterpart, but this person is not, I knew it, they're, they're obsessed, they're restricted, they're in shadow self behavior, they're not, they're not healthy for you. And so you have no choice but to move on is what spirit's saying. This person has quite a bit of restrictions. Now we have a masculine energy. So for mo everybody out here, whether you date feminine or masculine, you definitely have a new love interest coming around the corner. You're finding your way. You're on the right path. You will soon be shown the way, Spirit saying. Most of you here, you have a very beautiful new love coming. Now, some of you could have a reconnection coming because you have tunnel vision on one person, but you're obsessing a bit over this, and you might want to take a, a step back. They suffer if they see you with another. They are working on healing wounds, and concerns about money is affecting your love life and the heart wants with the heart wants. So um, for most of you, uh, that's what you feel, that you, the heart wants with the heart wants. You know this person's unhealthy. You know they're toxic. You know it will probably end the same exact way as it did, but you um, want what you want, right? And there's no, there's no right or wrong, sweetheart. But for those who are ready to move on, you may have concerns about money. Money may be stopping you from doing everything that you want to do. Or money may be stopping a person that you're dating from really doing everything they want to do for you. Lightness. Unburden your heart so it can have great love. Coming out with growth. Don't let anyone keep you from reaching your dreams. Find a quiet place to retreat and connect with spirit. You are being guided to meditate on this. If you don't know what to do, if you're going back and forth, should I stay or should I go? Should I continue on the twin flame journey or should I get off? Pray about it. Meditate on it. 10 minutes a day, slowing your brain down, um, eventually starts to allow you to concentrate more, to hear your guides more. It may not seem so big at first, but over a course of a period of time, your brain is like a muscle. And the more you train it to slow down and stop thinking, the, the, the stronger of an ability you will have to not have racing thoughts as well as be able to connect with your guides. Tell me about the devil here. I feel like for some of you, you're having obsessive thoughts about a person. Spirit's asking you to be patient here, that you're going to be rewarded for um, having to deal with this arrogant, wasteful person that uh, seems to have rejected you. 
most of you are having these racing thoughts. They're really not even conscious thoughts. It's just like a soul ache. You know, your, your mind knows it's time to move on, but your heart and your soul is saying something else. I feel for a lot of you, you're going to be surprised because you are about to find your direction, your way. It has been a train, uh, very painful transition, but a necessary ending. But look at this. Nine of Swords, the Tower and Death. Oh, Scorp. Most of you here, if you're not here now, at one point you were, and boy, is this a bad energy to be in. Mm -mm -mm. Y'all, if you are in this energy of still just um, torturing yourself with thoughts of what if, and what I shouldn't have said that, and I should have done this, and they said this, and they... No come back here to the present moment don't don't allow yourself to do that that's torture going round and round in your mind it is literal torture you can't change the past and you cannot pr predict the future no matter how much you try to to obsess over it letting go a little bit energetically will allow this person to feel that they will feel you letting go you could be dealing with another scorpio an air sign a water sign a pisces so, Spirit, tell me about this true love. This true love, please. Yeah, you're being guided to soul search. Knight of Cups, because um, you have a very strong victory coming in if you want a new love, right? Maybe you don't want a new love, but Spirit's saying if you want it, there will be flowing attraction. There will be a lot of attraction between you and this person, but you need to do some soul searching and some healing first. From what I see here, there's a lot of obsessive thoughts or there's a lot of um, thoughts of the painful thoughts that you still are dealing with. And, and so if you need to release, you know, this, you, you might want to work on doing this, going through this renewal and only focusing on the present moment. Leo season, yeah, there's been a change forced upon you, but look at this. We have the full moon. Don't ever underestimate your power here. For some of you, you could be traveling, moving into the future. Your future looks so bright, Scorpio. You're going through completions, but you need to trust your leader, trust your intuition, trust that you are a natural born leader, and you can lead yourself right into a very beautiful life. You can manifest just about anything you desire, but you have to have a unwavering faith and you can never interrupt somebody else's free will you can manifest fest traits in a person so what do you want out of a lover um for example spirit's asking you to get out into nature right now organize get organized because for some of you um you have been just all over the page you haven't been organized you've been kind of just um, trying to make it through the day you may be scatterbrained right now and that's why it's going to be so important to focus your energy on the present moment but you are a beloved child of God like everyone else you deserve to receive the support that will allow you to focus upon your divine life purpose even if you can't yet recognize your lovable qualities trust that God and your angels can see how amazing you truly are so if you are struggling with seeing your self-worth or seeing your value in this world, Scorpio, you matter. Your vibration matters just by affecting the people around you. We are all one. We are all connected. So if you're sad, if you feel low, your everybody around you is, is taking in that, that as well. But if you're happy and you're positive, you can help your children raise their vibration. You can help your family raise their vibration. And that will allow perhaps for some generational curses to stop, especially if you are following in the footsteps of a family member, but you have said enough, I'm stopping this nonsense right now, you'll be able to break some generational curses. Surrender to addictions. For some of you, you could be dealing with addictions. You could be dealing with being addicted to this person or a bad mindset. Surrender your belief in scarcity. The universe is asking you to open to the infinite nature of abundance. In this way, you can remove blocks in your life and succeed beyond your wildest dreams and open to the magic of every moment, the sense of awe and wonder in your life. This attitude will keep you connected to the ecstasy of flow. You are being guided to get into a flow state. 
what is not in your life anymore is not supposed to be what is not manifesting right now is on purpose start trusting and believing that you are exactly where you're supposed to be in this moment in time and you have not lost anything it is just anything that is gone it, it's just opening up for you to bring in new better more healthy things tell me spirit what is the animal oracle card that we have for exploration here the hippopotamus boy they're a fascinating creatures aren't they if you have become bored with your life you have the creative power to stir things up and revitalize everything you can do this by starting new projects setting new goals and making spiritual connections see spirit saying you can stir your life up if you seem to be very bored and disconnected just feeling blah like you just don't even want to uh deal with the people around you anymore or you, or you just don't resonate with a lot of people in your life anymore and it is it, it is all on purpose sometimes we will be sat down alone because if there was a lot of distractions we wouldn't be able to go through this rebirth or go through this 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 time of great reinvention in your life squirt for a lot of you the divine is trying to send you love and light trying to send you um the divine fire to burn away past pain and and past things that that no longer serve you believe in miracles you have to take risk miracles will only happen if you allow the unexpected to happen and stand your ground Hold your own power and never give it away. Not everyone is there to support you. So um, big message from spirit here. You need to stand your ground. Trust in miracles. Believe in yourself. Believe that miracles happen every day. Why can't you be next, sweetheart? I hope everybody has a beautiful and blessed day. Congratulations again to the July winners. Love and light.